Hello, hello, my friends. I'm filming a few videos in a row because I wanna try and get this stuff cleaned up and listed because I have a mountain of things in my office. And if you really wanna see how big the mountain really is, and I'm like a little OCD, so it's causing me a little anxiety. But if you wanna see how big it is, let me know. And I'll show you how I've been storing all this stuff that I sell on Poshmark and Depop. And my information and my link is below. So please go join me on there. If you tell me when you're buying something that you're from here, I'll give you a $5 discount and give you a good deal. And anyway, thanks for stopping by again. Please be again. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like it. If you don't come back again, because maybe there'll be something you do like, please comment below. I like it to be interactive and everyone be kind. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm here with glasses, it's because I knocked these over. They were on the chair behind me. And this is from, these were from the, uh, the rescue box that was garbage. And, you know, they're really scratched up. Oof. It's not easy to see in these, but I don't know if you can, you could probably get the plastic replaced, but this is where it has the engraving of the number. Can you see it, the scratches? They're permanent, but it looks like also hairspray got on it. But um, my father has a stick, this pink stick that you can rub on glasses and it oils them back up. I'm gonna try and use that before I... anything else, but there's a big scratch right in the middle of my eye. So I guess if I go like this and look up, new style. Anyway, I don't know, if anyone wants them, let me know, I'll list them. They're like uh, Dolce and Gabbana. I showed you another video. Go watch that video of my disaster box. But, oh, before I open this. <laughs> Red up box. Are we surprised? I'm going to do a Goodwill one next. Okay. Okay. Seven pairs of shoes for... No. Nah. Oh, my gosh. How much was it? $40. $35. Uh, if you use the shipping code R-E-S-C-U-E, rescue, you get, sh I've been getting shipping for free. But just to show you, mine don't come wrapped or individually wrapped. So I don't know why that is, but mine don't. I just wanted to say, I actually looked up, the distributor of mine comes from Pennsylvania. Where does yours come from? I'm really curious if it matters. Um, where it comes from. But mine comes from Pennsylvania, it's on the East Coast, and I don't know. Oh, it was shoved in the side. Size seven and a half, rescue box, shoes, seven pairs, $40. Would help if I read it. What can I tell you, girls and boys? So you saw this when I opened it up. These are cute. They're like animal print. They're like pony hair. Oh, wow. These are in good condition. Oh my God, I'm not even sure these are worn. They just look a little smushed from being in the box. They're from Arisol. These are comfy, ooh. Inside it is also, it's like sweet and mushy. Oh, there's like a little wear there. So they were obviously worn, but they wore them well. There's like legit no outside wear at all. Just in some inside wear. Mm. I might keep these myself unless you guys, someone really, really wants them because it's the season for these now. And, um, you want a good pair of flats, you can wear that with a dress, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with joggers, wear it with anything. Okay, so where do I go next? Okay, oh, okay. We got some Cole Haan tan sandals, the ankle straps, and they are gold grommet. Here it says, Cole Haan. Oh, I always wanted to try a pair. They're the, the Nike Air ones. They sell so much better. Hold on, I just wanna buckle the strap. 
Wow, okay. We're having a good thread up day. We are, we're having a good thread up day. If you like the shoe boxes, there's another lady on here. I think she just started her channel too and she's been having the best luck with the shoe boxes. Um, she's really a doll. Her name is at Beach. Oh, please don't hate me. I know it's Beach something or other. So just look up Thread Up um, Shoe on box, Boxings. And it's like Beach something or other. And her videos are phenomenal. And she has the cutest dog. And the views from her apartment are beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. So anyway, back to business. So far, so good. I just see some little wear on the back, but I think I can clean that up better. See, it's like the driving. <laughs> it must've been from driving. You know, it rubs on the floor. Yeah, I don't know, but I think shoe polish and some bomb, Wonder Bomb will help that. But it has, it's really cool. It has like the Nike sole. The bottoms are um, rubber, 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 rubber. So yeah, these are cute, okay? I like them, I like them. So far, I would keep two out of the three. Um, hold on, I just wanna buckle this up. Who is this from? Franco Sordo coming up, girls and boys. It's just easier to see when they're buckled. These I wouldn't wear, not because I don't like them, because they're actually really cute, but I can't because of my autoimmune disease condition. Wait, is there another one? Wait a minute. Oh, there is. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I won't do it all the way because I spent too much time trying to. These are like the artist collection. Franco Sardo, the artist collection. Let me just show one easier. These are like wood block and they have a nice padding on it. Um, and then there's leather that covers, it's like the hidden heel, the wedge. It has a hard, wider um, heel. Let's see what the, ah, oh, yeah. I love that when they do that, the rubber at the bottom so you don't slip. Were these ever worn? They were because look, the toe of this one has a little crack. Where do I see, oh here. A little crack and some wear there. But really, these could not have been worn more than once or twice. Let me see the other one. Yeah, so they drag their toes on something, but you can barely tell. But they're still in good condition. I really like these too. They got a nice weight to them. They're medium weight. They're not the really, really heavy ones. As I put them down. They're not the really heavy ones, but they're not like very light either. They're like right in the middle. So um, yeah, those are cute. Wedge with the hidden, you know, wedge in the bottom. Sandals from Franco Sordo, the artist collection. Okay, so we have another pair of heels and these are more of a kitten heel, like three inch heels. I learned my lesson how, how big the heels are. So these are like um, a maroon, patent leather, pointed toe. Oh, there's a little more. Heel from Anne Klein. These are really pretty. To go to a wedding or to put these on with jeans. How about like wide leg bottom jeans so you can see the pointed toe hanging out? Oh yeah, these are really cool. It's a little weird on this one. But you know, you can always fill it in. I fill those in when I, um, just a tip. If I have the right color, I only do this, I'll take the tip. You get the pointy tip, get a Sharpie, the big ones that have all the colors in it. Um, and then you can fill things in like that and you can't see it anymore. I do it a lot with um, my shoes and my sneakers or I use a little um, uh, white out and it works. And if I ever do that on shoes, that I'm selling, I, I will say that I'm doing that. So. This is one I can see the bottom. 
Somewhere and Klein. Again, this is a seven and a half box. I own a seven and a half box. I got a lot of eights too. And I wear a seven and a half, so I try and get a seven and a half, but my daughters both wear an eight. So if it doesn't, oh, if it doesn't uh, fit me and they want it, they can have it. And then if not, I just sell them. These are from Madden Girl, Steve Madden, leopard print, open toe, wood heel. They're like, um, like silky feeling. Uh, look, they have a little ruching at the top detail. These are cute. Let's, let me check on the size and see if there's a name, because sometimes Steve Madden says. A little stiff, but not too bad. Yeah, these are the Kaboyby, K-A-B-O-B-Y, size seven and a half. Fabric upper, balance man-made materials. Made in China, number zero, one, zero. Let's see if you can see that. These are cute. These are cute though. Someone will definitely want these. These are still so in fashion. These would be beautiful with a pair of jeans. Beautiful. Okay, so two more. Oh, it can't be a box without some sneakers. These are cute. Okay, fuzz. These are cute. I love them. They're slip on the Sperry sneakers. Like the, they look like the boating shoes. They've been worn a little. I see spots there. And it's very there. The little tag on the side. They're canvas, um, nice thick canvas, but really soft and pliable. They got the exposed stitching. Just wanted to show you this. And um, the bottoms are cute. They work. That'll clean right up. It has the symbols on it. I'm trying to see if there's any dirt anywhere else. You know, just a little rubber wear, but... Oh, and I like this about it. Unless you have flat feet. But this, this isn't that high anyway. But it supports your foot. A lot of times slip-on shoes don't have that. And it has the elastic at the top. So if you have bigger feet and you need to uh, stay in there... You can get your foot in there. If you have smaller feet, it helps to support them in there. So, oh yeah, it's just very embroidered on the back as well. Yeah. Okay, those are cute. And my last pair. Oh, I'm gonna be a pain and just put these in like this. These are from Bass. They're wedge sandals. They're black canvas with the white or beige stitching. I've never seen BSD shoes like this. And they're like espadrilles material. And then the black fabric and there's the exposed stitching. Now these are really cute. These are cute. I don't know if I can get away wearing these, but I would try. But I don't know if anyone wants them. I'm going to put them up for sale, and if nobody takes them, then I'll try. Because if I do, I couldn't be walking for long. Little mark there. The good thing about canvas is it probably come out. The bottoms are rubber, and then they have, like, the canvas in between it. They do that a lot with espadrille shoes. And there's the mark on them. And there is the mark inside. Seven and a half. Do they have a name? Okay. Bass Raina, R A I N A. Six, uh, 4167 zero, zero, 001, seven and a half. Textile upper textile sole from March of 2012. Okay, so let's recap. Because I'm not upset at this box. Are you? What do you think? Two for two that I'm not upset with. So we got the Bass Espergil black wedges with extra exposed stitching. We got the Sperry slip-on boat shoe sneakers. Gray has some exposed stitching. 
We got, what do we have? Oh, the Franco Sardo, the Artist Collection, wood block, wedge, open toe, like the greenish blue sandal, has exposed stitching too. Maybe this is the exposed stitching box. We have Madden Girl from Steve Madden. Open toe, silky feel, man-made material. Leopard or animal print. Heel with a wood heel. And Klein, like maroon, patent leather, this is leather, patent leather, pointed toe, heels around three and a half inches. What doesn't she say? Oh, here. They're called AK Chris, Krista, by the way, A K C H R I S T A. Yeah, um, AK Krista, leather upper, man made sole, seven and a half. I didn't mention that, now you know. And then we have the Cole Hans, the Nike edition, tan leather sandals with the gold grommet detail. And then the first ones I pulled out were the pony hair, aerosol, rubber bottom, slip on driving shoes that are pony hair, animal print, like I said. So anyway, thumbs up if you liked it, please. And, and let me know if you liked it and um, we'll do a few more. So come back and watch my other videos. I have a lot of other thrift hauls to do. I have probably over a thousand pieces to show you. Um, I did one yesterday because I went to the thrift store yesterday. So you could see what I got. I'm trying to be a little more picky because I have an overabundance of stuff. So I'm going to be doing a sale on my stuff from last year because sometimes, um, well, I look at things and I probably wouldn't pick them up now, but I picked them up then and they're still amazing stuff, but I'm just trying to be a little more picky. And uh, I'm gonna do some also Goodwill unboxings and I have some jewelry unboxings. So maybe I'll do a jewelry unboxing today too, because they're really good. So anyway, I appreciate you stopping by, spending time with me, watching me make a, a fool out of myself and have fun. And always remember to be you. I appreciate you. Ciao. Bye.